world champions. So far, only dropping three maps this entire tournament. Obviously, there was three to Optic earlier, knocked down to the elimination bracket much earlier than expected, and out for blood right now. On the other side, you got Shopify Rebellion, the ultimate dark horse team, one of the most dangerous teams here in this tournament. I don't think anybody wanted to run into them. Not even face. Can face carry that momentum from last night against Complexity into today, into Championship Sunday is my question. When this team plays at their absolute best, they're a scary roster to behold. We had phase. 3-0 to competition, 3-0 complexity in order to make it to Championship Sunday. Meanwhile, on the other side, Shopify Rebellion felt like they should have 3-0'd foe. You know, maybe losing that first game, but then winning three in a row. Both teams riding that momentum to make it here to this best of five series. Strongholds, Glidefire, going to be our game number one. What's that telling you? Honestly, I, I'm, I'm looking for FaZe to come out swinging, but Again, Wes talked about it on the desk. I'm looking for Shopify, who was built to upset this roster to make something happen. Arlington, game number one is on the way. It's Championship Sunday. If you're with me, make some noise. Face an absolute domination last night against Complexity. Will they be able to make something happen here? This game number one's about to be on the way here, but strongholds are game number one. Both teams, strong stronghold teams. I mean, obviously, FaZe have been there, done that Shopify Rebellion, trying to show what they could do. Who has the advantage of game number one? Who do you, what do you want to see out of both of these teams? For me, the one game that Shopify lost was against Foe, right? It was on live fire, but it was King of the Hill. Foe ended up taking that game after being down 1-3 in Hills. If Shopify want to come out strong, they can't be making mistakes against this championship roster and phase. They've got to come out swinging, like I said. They've got to play essentially perfect Halo here. That's a great point. That game number one, you, you blow a 3-1 lead in King of the Hill to that Foe boss. You obviously were very talented, but a 3-1 lead, that's... That's some Steph Curry stuff blowing a lead like that. We don't do that here in Texas. The Mavericks don't do that. The Spurs don't do that. Absolutely not. <laughs> For me as well, that game too, we talk about Shopify Rebellion, six and zero in Slayers, but I mean, FaZe, one of the best Slayer teams in the HCS. Cycle's the big one for me. We talked about him being the leading KD on his team and suppressed a little bit behind. I'm very impressed with these two, but Today's where it matters the most, Tony. This is it right here in the elimination bracket. This is where you have to bring your all. I'm really happy you brought that up because I'm thinking, you know, FaZe are one of the best Slayer teams. But they've only dropped one this entire tournament, obviously, again, to Optic Gaming. Right. But on the other side of things, Shopify Rebellion, undefeated in Slayers. And obviously, in a best of five series, you're guaranteed to see at least one. If you go to distance two, are you leaning on Shopify Rebellion being the favorites in that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it just comes down to that first game. If that first game goes into Shopify's favor, we've talked about momentum time and time again. That's going to be a big factor. But I've got to talk a little bit about Soul Snipe, right? This man made a change after four years with the same roster, dating back to Halo 5, Tony. He made a change. And that change so far has paid off. His highest placing is third at the last Worlds, right? at first worlds but his team a bit new are they going to come to play here when it matters the most yeah i got the chance to sit down and do some content with the coach best man sitting behind this amazing shopify rebellion roster by the way coach of the tournament shout out to my man nick but he talked about having a vision for this roster and he talked about reaching out to soul Snipe and challenging him to leave that friend group to maybe just maybe go a different route and like you said, I think it really has paid off for him. So, best man, want to give a shout out to him for really taking the risk right there to put this crew together because at first sight, it was like, okay, this is a little bit of a mosh posh crew, but it looks like a true team. This weekend, Shopify Rebellion have shocked the world. A lot of habits to break, right? A lot of changes to be made when you're on a completely new roster. We'll see if Soul Snipe can make those changes work for him. On the other side of things, you got World One. A lot of experience behind them on the coaching side. 
He's going to be behind these phase boys, this world championship roster as we're about to load in to game number one, live fire, strongholds. I want to see some snipes. Both of these teams are two and one in strongholds thus far. This will showcase who the better team is. And I'm looking for phase to come out swinging here when it matters the most. We talked about passion on the desk. Championship Sunday is where you bring that passion through. A sniper was snatched up by Renegade, but Soul Sniper Shopify Rebellion immediately putting phase three down and immediately grabbing hold of that power weapon and now control over towards the camo side. Camo's about to come up and Shopify Rebellion, Trip Cat coming out swinging. That was a quick three down for phase and Soul Snipe's got the snipe in his hands. It's in his name, Tony. We'll see if he can put it to work. He's gonna get one and he'll collect that camo as well. Camouflage down to the bottom mid side. Find out the sniper. Royal two, where's your head? Taking off is where it is on the floor. This camo is going to be a huge factor. They're gonna take A. He's gotta turn his attention, but look how he's playing this. He backs up right, goes towards his teammates. They play really well together. Mental's gonna clean up that kill. 39 to 1 run start by Shopify Rebellion. As we see FaZe trying to attack another base, but it's not gonna happen. Shopify's defense looking tough. I was looking for Shopify to come out swinging. A 43 to 1 lead in Strongholds is exactly what the doctor ordered. Can they continue this momentum though? My question is, will they overheat against FaZe? Soul Snipe still has the sniper, hasn't died just yet. Oh, he's the one that has to hold off multiple members of FaZe for pushing through, but Snake Bite would not be denied. Snake Bite pushing through A. Will this be a trip cap for FaZe? This is the first time FaZe has had a bit of semblance of control. It's a triple cap locked in. And now Shopify Rebellion. They're gonna need to break this. And that trade might be the opening answer. Three down for FaZe momentarily. 48 to 27 right now in favor of Shopify Rebellion, but it is FaZe that come out with a trip cap. Shopify sending resources to try to take over Seaside, but they are being met with FaZe at every given turn. They don't get C, but they will take A. Not enough FaZe putting points. I really like the wolf pack by FaZe there to make sure to secure C and with securing that double cap, guess what? They also secure the lead so far. It was Shopify starting off really strong, but FaZe, they've come back here. They've brought this close. Shopify definitely set the pace early, but it was only a matter of time before FaZe were able to weather the storm, able to hold them off, and now this double cap. Really punishing Shopify Rebellion at the moment. They grab a hold of Charlie, they lost Alpha. What will happen with Bravo FaZe? They still have it. They sent a lot of resources towards that camo side. And they'll collect that camo if Royal 2 can stay alive. Enemy that team. trade cool. for B might be worth it here. We'll see if they can utilize this camo to potentially break this. You see Renegade, he's gonna end up going down, but Frosty gets the trade quick. The sacrifice of base in order to grab a hold of camouflage. Now you have camo, now you have Enemy resources team. in the sandbox, and now you have a double cap just as quick. Sacrificing a few seconds to grab a hold of the resources, it's worth it. Yeah, it's just math, right? You got 30 seconds of camo to work with against maybe six or seven points ahead of time. I would gladly take that trade if you're phase. You can see the rotation comes through. They're gonna try and get C here. Frosty does have to drop off that top tower position, but it's Royal 2 in front of him to make sure he's in a safe spot. As the Slayers are starting to favor Fade going into this mid game, so is the score line. 81 to 58 at the moment here, Fade. They have oh. control. And Frosty, you know he's icy. This is exactly what you're looking for if your phase is Frosty starting off real hot. 11 and 3 for him. The sniper in his hands. You can see his head is tilted. He's in a flow state, ladies and gentlemen. He's locked in. He's on a six kill streak. He's locked in for a reason. And with the sniper. Almost hits the quick scope, forced to back down right now with Shopify Rebellion overwhelmed the B side and Frosty. He's playing games right now as he makes his way towards that sniper should have been off the map. That was a great play by him, right? He goes for that no scope to potentially get the max damage and then throws the sniper off the map as well. Renegade's gonna get a double in the feed. This is potentially control for phase as they get A and C. Nice little flight coming out of cycle, it's what he's known for. And right as World 2 tried to get involved, it looks like his teammates are covering his back, but you get into a 1v1 battle with Renegade. That's somebody you don't want to tussle with. Shopify Rebellion having to pull away from the nest side, pull back towards Charlie. They're currently down as far as cap at the moment. FaZe have both Alpha and Charlie. 
Why didn't move it for Bravo? Yeah, it looks like Bravo may be taken as well. There's a little bit of contestion there on the side of Cycle. He's taken out, but it'll be tower control. Look how quickly they remove the players from Shopify Rebellion on this C side. They gain control of C and B, and it'll be Renegade in a prime position on top tower. They're starting off as a 49 to 0 run in favor of Shopify Rebellion. Since then, FaZe have got control of the game and have not let go. Camouflage is coming up. You see Shopify dedicating three, if not four members over toward that side of the map. They know they need Camo in order to come back here as Renegade battles it out with Soul Stipe. Not able to burn it. Kind of going for the challenge of the Suppress. Buddy trying to stick him, but that's a frag. It doesn't matter. Still gets the kill. Suppress gets the trade, and Camo sits over towards mid map. That was complete timing there by Renegade. A great job for him to slow down the pace of the game. And then when he had the advantage to go for those two kills, he did just that. Face picks up the Camo here. Huge for them. After that crazy fight we just saw, Shopify Rebellion losing Enemy out on time to dedicate numbers towards that camo. They don't get it. Snake fight gets away with it. And once again, 158 to 81 lead. Finally, Shopify get a double cap of their own. This is the setup that they have to hold. They need to make some waves at least 30 to 40 seconds right now. And Frosty gets the first kill. Snake fight and Renegade are going to follow it up. Three out of four members hit the black screen. So what does that mean? FaZe get aggressive. That's exactly what they do. They get B. This camo's value is huge just based off of objective efficiency. And it'll be B controlled. And again, you see a little bit of deja vu here. It's Frosty on the top tower with that sniper, the clear off the tower side, and now he's looking for picks on the beat. Shopify Rebellion, relentless with their Bravo push. Enemy right through the A side, scoring. straight to green. Sniper in the hands of Frosty, and all the way doesn't get the kill. The assist will be good enough. The headshot, another three down. Shopify in trouble. You generally see players go towards that C side when you have A, right? You go for that full Enemy rotation. Scoring. But as Shopify, like you said, constantly headbutting the B side, and FaZe are shutting it down time after time. They've almost doubled the score line of Shopify Rebellion. As, as Frosty with the sniper, the FaZe clan chants are starting to come here in the crowd. Body shot, another one. Multiple going down here for Shopify Rebellion. Snap their fingers, half the members to the black screen. Three down goes Shopify. Soul Stipe, the final player alive. Absolutely incredible job by FaZe to be so dynamic, right? I talked about the B push time and time again, but now they change direction. Go towards C, and guess what? FaZe are ready for it. FaZe, shut it down again. This might just be Shopify Rebellion's final opportunity here in this game number one. You see the push coming in, but it's a solo one by Mensel. Not gonna work against Royal 2. He simply wins those pivotal battles. Soul Snipe, luckily, able to come up with that cleanup. Suppress tries to get involved, but before he's able to cross the map, he is shredded. Soul Snipe ends up going down. FaZe are moving in for Alpha. Is that it? Yeah, great patience again by Frosty. They don't just charge in with camo, they utilize it to secure points. Taking game number one and momentum in the series. Shopify Rebellion starting off hot. But did they just run out of steam? Yeah, like I said, I talked about the overheating aspect, right? When you're playing one of the best in the world, you can have those shining moments, especially at the beginning of a game. But the question is, can you continue to play phenomenal Halo throughout? FaZe is going to pick apart your positioning. If you're just a step out of position, they punish it. They've got that damage to do so, and the individual talent as well. We saw an absolute clinic being put on by FaZe Clan right there with that stronghold. The ability to up the tempo, to push it, to push the pressure when necessary, but also to slow it down, set up, hold on to that double cap to really punish your opponents. We saw a little bit of everything with FaZe, and I think the score line kind of shows that. Absolutely loved the fact that we talked about Shopify consistently headbutting B, which is unconventional, right? You don't generally see, unless it's me, right? I'm, I just charged through me on Victor, but you know, for these teams, <laughs> they, they take the smart option. They go towards that C side, but Shopify weren't doing that. They changed pace. The crazy thing to me is that FaZe were just ready for it. It's a C side push, immediately three dead. Just a beautiful job overall. And things like this, like you see on your screen, Renegade getting that kill, that shouldn't have happened. He thought he had a plasma, and he ends up getting the kill anyway. That's what I thought as well. The frag kind of bouncing off of his visor right there, but 
the kill still came out. Suppress did have that extra time to trade out his life, and uh, it was good for them. You know, moments were good, but they didn't put a complete game together. Now going into Solitude, Slayer, you go from Live Fire, one punishing map, to another. If Shopify Rebellion aren't able to stay alive, they aren't able to keep it two or three up throughout the entire map, they're going to get spawn trapped. They're going to get punished. That shock? Woo! Oh, yeah. I've talked about it before. Having that shock rifle, Tony, when the spawns come out on the blue, it's so devastating, right? You all know about the AoE damage. So if you're all spawning blue, your squad spawning on blue, and then that AoE damage comes through, it just makes it impossible to come off that spawn trap, like you said. So that's the person I'm watching right here. It's Cycle, the highest KD and Slayer on his team. He has to come out swinging today in Championship Sunday. This is his shining moment. He's the top KD and Slayer. This is his game type. As much as we talked about FaZe being one of the best Slayer teams in the league, it is still one team in this lobby that's undefeated, and it is not FaZe. It is Cycle and Shopify Rebellion, 6-0 right now. They have gone down in game one time and time again, but they've come back, and it's always behind a game two victory, and then they carry that momentum into game three. Shopify Rebellion, they should make their, they should draw their line to sand. They should treat this game too, like they've done everyone before. Treat it like a game five. Treat it like a must win. I love that, Tony. On the flip side, you've got FaZe who, we question the passion coming into that Optic series, the one Slayer game that they lost, right? They came out swinging today so far. Their passion can't be questioned on Championship Sunday. Has it ever been questioned on Championship Sunday? We got that camo sending towards the mid map. Both of these teams are going to be fighting quickly forward. And like we said, if you go three down, if you go four down, it is so easy to manipulate spawns here on solitude. It's going to be bad, but Shopify Rebellion, you need a win right now. The last thing you want to do is ball 0 2 in the series, switching gears to Royal 2, sitting up high. Playing a bit of SWAT, taking down that one shot player. Suppress answers back with a double kill. And Frosty also on the high side map, sitting on S4. Camel still up. Yeah, Camel still being up is a big factor, right? It's going to be Suppress to pick that up. He was the number two KD and Slayer on his roster. So someone to look out for. And look at that. The pass of the shock rifle comes into his hands. The combination of the shock and camo is the most deadliest combination that we have here in Halo Infinite, especially when you talk about this game played at a professional level. Suppressed, he's not one to miss. And if he can catch the jump on a FaZe Clan member, it can snowball from there, but hits the body. The headshot just avoids him. Now waits for his teammates to push up. Soul Snipe with a double on the kill feed. It looks like he's gonna oh. change his attentions to the main Slayer, slays the demon. I was gonna give FaZe their flowers in terms of bulk packing when a camo was on the other team, but Shopify Rebellion, a great job to shut that down immediately. And that 6-0 record's looking real good right now, Tony. Eight to three. We're seeing why they're undefeated. Get going at phase the way you are right now. Soul Snipe four and one suppressed yet to die once at the moment. It still has a bit of shock rifle to work with. So now you see a double push out of suppressed and cycle. Cycle taking a lot of damage. Suppressed just baiting that angle, anticipating the push. Still not enough. Phase again won't be denied. Yeah, a great job by FaZe. With Shopify having all those resources to work with, it's still FaZe that bring it within two. And that's just what impresses me about this roster, right? Being against the wall, being on your back foot, and still coming out, getting those trades when necessary. We've got a look now, though. Camo coming up in four. Although Shopify Rebellion were able to get an early lead, I feel like that camouflage had limited impact in the hands of Suppressed there. I want to see them grab a hold of this camo and do a bit more with the really punished face. The face have caught up, only down by three kills at the moment, as both teams really surrounded this camel, using it as bait. Yeah, it's such it's in such a threatening spot, right? The top center of the map, so many angles to be able to see that camo. You see Soul Snipe, he's gonna make the flank towards top center. A lot of damage comes through. That's two down for FaZe. They do trade out Cycle, but they've got the numbers advantage to potentially pick this camo up. So Quest gonna chase down Renegade, and as the final player goes down there, Roar 2 with the challenge, Shopify Rebellion still with the lead. So I wanna hop on board with a listening with Shopify Rebellion. Huh? Yeah, they do, yeah. they do. They have it. Probably gonna try to get sniped. Where are we going? Out the window. Yeah, I saw Camo. Shock and five. Shock and five. 
Try to get Camel Shock. Hey, I'll watch that jive bait. You want to you just want to change the contest? Contest uh, fight? Yeah, we can. All right, all right. It's kind of late time. Yeah, it's late time. I have no idea who felt this. Two guys one shot zip. Two one shot zip. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. 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 Hotel, absolutely, bro. What's your suit? What's your suit? Stop it! Hotel, hotel, what's your hotel? What's your hotel? My, 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 my. We go hotel. Watch your hotel. Watch your hotel, guys. Bottom it, bottom it, bottom it on me. U turn, U turn. Snake bite. Drive away, drive away. Turn one in. Turn one in. Watch out, bottom it. Watch out, bottom it. Yeah, we're looking at U turn. S two's looking at you. Press uh, Donny. Still U turn. I got the weak. Still U turn. Still U turn. Yeah, you Donny. Bend you Donny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy benches. It's all you, Billy. Yeah, we're kind of stuck. Let's try to get Billy. Yeah, we are. We're up. Let's get you. Let's get you. Camo 15. Donny looks good. I'll be blue. That's much better. Did you push the? That's four. That's four guys. This guy. Here we go. Flutter. Here we go. Flutter. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. Is market? Market, market. Yeah, okay, I'm here. I'm here. They're gonna try to play for camo. Yeah, we should make a push. They haven't used a lot of snakes. Two blue, two blue, two blue. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Two blue, two blue. There's the LR. LR, LR, LR. One front LR. Sniping us more over. Harder, one shot, guys. Driver, driver. Driver, driver. Three behind you. Driver, driver, driver. Just one close. We got the chance to hear how Shopify Rebellion were able to deal with that camouflage, but FaZe have taken a nice little run. They've actually tied up the game at the moment here. It looks like they're just about to take the lead, 18 to 17. I want to switch gears. Let's hop on forward to listen to FaZe and see what the other side is sounding like. Oh, what's our move? What's our move? Nice. Yeah. 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 Come here. Yo, yo, we're the game. We're the game. We're the game. Two in your arts. I'm each other. I'm each other. I'm bottom of them. Yo, guys, they're going blue. One is a thrusty RPR. We are going LR. Go blue, 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 blue. Yo, two LR, two LR. Two LR. Go farther. Yeah, fire. He dropped the beat. Yo, watch your dip, watch your dip, guys. Absolutely dip. In blue, guys. Tell me, dude. Tell me, dude. Two dip, two dip, two dip. Nice. Another one. Yeah, blue, blue, blue. He's in there. Dan, top side. That's safe as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I died. Yeah, blue, blue, blue. One in blue, one in blue. Rush down. Yeah, repulse in there, too. He has repulse. I'm here, done. I'm here, done. Thank you. 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 Thank Harder, they're hitting, they're hitting, they're hitting. Two bars, two bars, two bars, two bars. No one bars, no one bars. Top goal, one top goal, one top goal. Hold on, back in Yo, top side found. You thrust out? Hey, you two, you two. Or you two? Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna go for SOR, I hit him twice, hit him twice. Jabby, can you drop it, drop it, drop it? Yo, bottom side, bottom side. He looked at the other side, he looked at the other side. Two side, two side, two side. Yo, John, I need you to wait for teammates. Yo, we got your damage. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, look down. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, you're going to sniper. I'm going to sniper. One tram, one yard BR. We got a chance to listen to both teams there and a little bit of a dynamic, right? It's Shopify Rebellion, a little bit indecisive with their play calls, but FaZe, they know exactly when to do, when to do it, when to make the right play. Luckily, Shopify Rebellion have been able to use that skill, that teamwork, in order to get them almost a double-digit lead at the moment here as suppressed. Not really suppressive fire too much with that shock and band. He's getting right into the face of FaZe at the moment here. Back to double digits. Mental's getting kills onto the feet, and Soul Snipe was able to get away with camo. They may have sounded a bit indecisive, but it's a 10-kill lead here for Shopify Rebellion. And once again, the deadly combo of the camo and shock rifle in the hands of Soul Snipe. See what he can do with it. He gets the kill on the Royal 2. Enemy team near 40 big. kills have been accomplished here by Shopify Rebellion and it's FaZe that are so far behind right now. I mean, when you think of FaZe versus Shopify, there's going to be a spectacular alert. You would think it'd be on the side of the boys in blue, but no, Shopify two squad wipes away from tying up the series. An absolute incredible job by the side of Shopify. We talked about them being 6-0 in Slayers coming into this game. You imagine the confidence they're gonna have being 7-0 in Slayers after this if they can close this out. 44 to 28, Shopify Rebellion still have the lead. Soul Snipe still having that shot in hand. And as of right now, they're doing everything they can to take him down. They want this next side control, and it looks like they are going to demand it. But is there enough time? You have five lives to work with. There's not enough time whatsoever. 45 to 31. We need just a miracle at this point, but it's FaZe we're talking about here. This would be a massive comeback. But that 46 kill goes in, and now it's only four. Do you believe in miracles? I don't. 
Not right now. <laughs> I don't. Squad, just squad wipe. One squad wipe away, and there it is. Two on the board for Shopify Rebellion. Frosty is able to answer right back. But again, just two more needed. I love the cycle and Suppressor not trying to push the action. The moment they go multiple down, they said, don't worry, to slow it down. Let's play good Halo. We don't want to give Ace any room. We don't want to give them any chance, any opportunity, as Cycle takes down World 2. Looking for the final one. Stay right down to one shot, and he's gonna take down Frosty. The target prioritization is looking good. The young gun coming in and gunning. It is absolutely incredible to me, right? Coming in, like I said, Six and zero in Slayer, and you just beat arguably Tony, the best Slayer team in the HCS. We talked about it in the green room. We gave this game to face, but Shopify, they come out, and they come out really strong here in Championship Sunday. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Shopify Rebellion have mastered the best of five series. They do not lose a game to Slayer ever. And then from there, they ride that momentum into a game three win. And they know from there, all you gotta do is take another objective in a row, or worst case scenario, you lose that. Right. What's gonna be game five? Another Slayer, which you have yet to lose this entire tournament. Shopify Rebellion were built for upsets. And maybe we see the biggest one here of the year. Gotta talk about Cycle on the side of Shopify right there, right? 4,500 damage, the highest damage in the lobby. And that's the second highest Slayer KD in this weekend. He's proving it. And that's the player I had to watch, right? I wanted to see what Cycle was going to do when the pressure's the highest. He's our second youngest player in the league, and you gotta, you got to think about it, right? When you're that young, you haven't gone through that much pressure very often. On the biggest stage, in the biggest moment, he performs. It was funny you talk about how young he is. There was one point we were doing an open series event, and it started on a Sunday and ended on a Thursday last year. Yep, yep. He actually couldn't make the event. He had an exam. Oh. He had a very important <laughs> exam. He was still in high school. I love so the, it. the man starting his professional career, yep. missing out on a, a championship Thursday then. It was an online event yep. because he had to make sure he was on that honor roll. Love that. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, school is very important. Make sure you stay in school, okay? <laughs> Halo secondary. But when you can do both, <laughs> what kind of person are you? I absolutely love to see that out of cycle. But FaZe, I, I'm, I'm a little shocked, right? I, they came out swinging in that game number one. We talked about it often. Game number two, it was Shopify who had their number, and they called it often. Going into King of the Hill, you have an undefeated record coming in from FaZe. On the other side of things, Shopify Rebellion did lose one to foe after being up 3-1 in that game. They can't make mistakes like that. Not at this level of competition, not on Championship Sunday. If you have FaZe in a chokehold, you better make them tap. Otherwise, FaZe gonna get up and they're gonna knock you right out. We talked to SLG yesterday, Tony, in the green room, and he gave some great insight on the side of FaZe, like what he's noticed of this FaZe roster. Obviously, it's his opinion, but with that 4-0, he was saying how safe they play, you know? And I think Wes actually alluded to this yesterday on the desk as well, how safe they play as a roster. What my question is, is how Shopify is going to kind of break that, you know, how they're going to break that, you know, positioning by phase, how they're going to break through these setups. I, I think it's going to be really difficult, especially on a map like Recharge, where those cross shots are so important. Fist bumps going across the board for the new kids on the block. We know phase of the world champions. We know how good they are, but young guns, they are here. It's Maybe it's time to pass the torch. Maybe just maybe Shopify Rebellion upset and, and shock the world right here. We're going into this game number three, a swing game three. Series tied up, recharge, King of the Hill. King of the Hill, my favorite game type. Every hill feels like a new game. Oh, it's great, right? I love King of the Hill on recharge specifically. And honestly, I love the changes made to this map and game type combination. I absolutely love the batteries hill. I think it's really difficult to hold, but also if you get a great setup and you use those pillars to stay alive, it could be really beneficial for you. And speaking of the batteries hill, that's exactly where we'll start off. But the action starts off towards the big map camouflage. Snatched up by one of these teams. And Faze, they start off three down once again. They've got to pick up the pace here. We talk about often, Tony, how FaZe have to have this switch that they flip at any moment in time. It's time right now. We're in Championship Sunday. This is the elimination bracket. Flip the switch quick. 
Can't be playing in the dark. Not around here. Oh, oh. my gosh! Suppress coming out, putting a shot to phase system. Phase end up going four down Shopify. They're about to run away with Hill 1. You talked about having that interview with Best Man, but oh my word, he, he built a great score. roster here. They look to be so gelled and ready. Suppress, he's impressing me so much. Starting off three and one in this game. It was a three down, then a four down for FaZe. Finally though, FaZe get control of the Batteries Hill. It was psyched with one fresh out of high school, but it's suppressed that part of his game. Meanwhile, State Fight was able to grab the board of that shot. Couple shots there, enough to weaken Cycle, but not enough to get the kill. Snake Bite ends up going down for two, and the rest of Faze trying to replace him. As long as the Slays go down, it does not matter who gets the kills. Yeah, a great job by Faze to get that immediate control after that three dead. They do give up a little bit of a spawn there on that glass side. You see Cycle spawning up there last, so they'll still be in this Battery's Hill, though. Not playing scared whatsoever. They're making sure to hold this. It's gonna be Royal 2 with some shots, but he gets taken down. Top of Fight Rebellion, whenever they lose control, they play a very simple game. Take space right off the spot. Push right through that long haul side. Get right back in the fight. Never give up. The problem is, is that Renegade is a slayer. Triple kill out of Renegade Mental. The final player alive is going to try to hold Renegade back. Enemy they team. can't even hold him down. Tony, the lights are on. The switch has been flipped. Renegade's starting to pop off. Phase have the camo in Snake Bite's hands. And they've got initial control of this second hill as well. You see Frosty on that bat ledge side, right? He's gonna get info, he's gonna try and stay alive on, on that pipe side of the map. Snake fight with the camouflage, instead of playing back towards the blue pipes, playing towards the front side. A much more aggressive stance coming out of Snake fight and phase as they run away with this one, about 80% done. Shopify Rebellion nowhere to be found. It might just be two in a row when Shopify looks like they were gonna close out the first. I really love the usage of the battle rifle here and the shroud screen as well. Such an important equipment to use, especially on a map like Recharge. Phase take the second hill. Two to zero is the lead thus far with how great Shopify started this game. I did not expect to see Phase take immediate control. Phase did take most of that hill, but I feel like towards the end, Shopify Rebellion gave it to them. They punted. They okay. moved over towards that next hill. At least if you're going to lose two in a row, at least be set up towards that next one. Shopify Rebellion doing just that. Halfway done with this. Maybe they put themselves on the board. Phase is down. I love this, right? Immediate control of this next hill is so important. Elevator is such a heavy spawn. If you're talking about spawns, Elevator is such an important thing to control when the hill is on this Whirlpool side. And Shopify, because of that immediate control, look at that, a hill for them immediately. Finally, Shopify Rebellion on the board, but <laughs> what a quick two down phase. Rotating towards the C side of the map. Two members of Shopify infiltrating tower, but they're both gonna go down courtesy of that snake bite. The Venom is in. Staggered spawns by Shopify Rebellion. Phase setup has been locked out, has been locked in on the map. Shopify Rebellion need a break. They need to attack a perimeter. I love this. Snake Bite has control of this Hydro side. That's going to allow, who well, I thought it was going to allow Renegade to get that camo, but I believe it may have been burnt. Seaside control is so important when that camo is up. Two down for the side of Shopify. Mental's in a rough spot right now. Cycle got a kill, but he's got to play against two players here on Hydro. Behind enemy lines, this could be a flank. Oh, gets himself a kill on the Snake Bite, but the nade comes right back in. Roar 2, still trying to figure out where he went. Finally wraps back to where he was. Takes down Mental. Shopify Rebellion still relentless with their push. FaZe have not weathered the storm just yet. In fact, Shopify just snuck into him. Talked about FaZe playing a bit safe. Shopify, they're pushing in. They're aggressive. They're confident. And on Championship Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly how you want to play. But it's two down once again for Shopify. Trades have to come out. Renegade somehow stays alive. Wraps himself back with the grapple. And He's still alive right now, and that's what some of the best players in the world are going to do. They're going to make every kill hard. You're going to have to earn every one, two, one lead. Still in favor of FaZe as they're about halfway done to making it a three-one. I promise you, FaZe, they don't choke me. Enemy about to score. Snake bite with a shock rifle in his hands on long haul. Such an important position for him. He's going to be able to get that AOE damage into the pushing players. The Shopify don't have any safe way to get in this hill. 
But Snake Bites kind of trapped here. Are they aware he's on long haul? No, they're not. He's going to get the first one on the mental. Cycle goes down as well. Double kill coming out of Snake Bite. And Soul Snipe was able to sneak through over towards the press. So this area, this seaside, still being fought Enemy over. team took phase. They do obviously have an advantage and a huge lead on this one, but they still have to slay out Shopify at least one more time. The maids are going down, and so will Frosty. A three-man oh. push out of Shopify, but Snake Fight with the shot might just change things, might just turn the tides. The General's having such a phenomenal game, 12 and 6 thus far. We've always seen him clutch up when it matters the most. And FaZe about to close out hill number three. Domination, Tony. Still two minutes and 44 seconds remain. Now this is a struggle bus for Shopify with Million. From the bottom mid hill, even if Shopify take it over towards the battery side against FaZe, this is a uphill battle that Shopify Rebellion are going to have to fight their way, but they just walked their way out of a setup. They just hopped themselves over toward the hill when they have FaZe exactly where they want them. My biggest thing is FaZe only lead 42 to 35 in the kills category, but they're up two hills. That objective efficiency that we talk about so much with FaZe really starting to Enemy come together here on Championship Sunday in this game number three. Toward the eight side runs into one over in the bottom tower. And with that path, the members of Shopify go down. And they aren't going to mess around. They aren't going to play time here. In fact, they're going right towards this hill. They want to close it out in 4 1 fashion. Yeah, I absolutely love that, right? When there's this much time on the clock, you can play time based off of the numbers advantage. And that's what FaZe do, right? The hill still being capped here by Shopify. FaZe are not too worried about it with that big lead. Gonna try to get some damage on the cycle. He has to go down here. Look how well he's playing his life. Whoa. He stays alive. Little Cali Clamber action coming in. Cycle putting the moves onto FaZe, and that might just be two in a row. But hold on. FaZe stopped him just short of stealing away this hill. Now FaZe will have the opportunity to maybe just maybe close things out, but nobody accounting for it. Suppressed. He grabs the second one. Hold on. We're within one. It ain't over. Faze aren't set up yet on this pipe side hill. Immediately after getting that hill, Suppress goes directly for Bat Ledge, the most important position for this battery's hill. Renegade pushes in very aggressively, all by his lonesome, and he's gonna go down because of it. Enemy team took the, the hill. Shock. Makes his way over towards the hill, and what a shot! With that shot from across the map towards the bottom tower side, three down go phase, and Aldo Suppress hits the black screen. He gets replaced immediately, and Soul Snipe, along with Shopify, aren't going to skip a beat. They're going to go right back in that hill. They may just close things out before FaZe get involved. FaZe have to push off a spawn right now. This is the most important camo of the game, and Cycle has gotten it. And not only that, he stayed alive the entire time, and now he's got that bat ledge control. Get a kill on the Royal 2, and Mental's gonna get a kill on the Frosty. That'll be three down for FaZe. It should be Shopify Rebellion closing out this hill. I think it's mathematically impossible for FaZe to get the bout. Renegade tries to make a play, but it ain't gonna happen. We're going to a one hill take all scenario. The question for me was, will Shopify overheat? Absolutely not. Guess what, Tony? They vented their weapon. They're ready to strike again in a tie game with a minute and 30 but with three down goes Shopify Rebellion after being up 3-1 and seeing the comeback Enemy from Shopify. I want to hop in and listen in, but with FaZe, I want to see how they respond. I think he's on the right. I got her. Got yeah, you have to take I got her really good. Yeah, back, 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 back. Watch out, Sax, Sax, Sax. Watch out, Sax, guys. No, let's see how many's up. We're living, John. We're living. Are you? On the left. On the left. On the right. Hey, you went home. You went home. They all spawned up already. Yeah, we got camo in 20 as well. Look, 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 look. Yo, I can push right. I can push right. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Camo 15. Camo 15. Look at me. 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 Here, I got him. Weak, 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 weak. Both of them, both of them, both of them. 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 Both of them
He's gonna push me out. He's gonna get pushed. Johnny, get Johnny. Get Johnny. Bottom here, bottom here, PJ. Two back, two back. Uh, on, on, on jump up and driveway. Uh, on three 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 on three three Kill Glass, kill Glass. Top of And he'll now. Enemy team took the hill. Yo, John, behind the ramp. Behind the ramp. Bottom here, bottom here. Two, two, two. Nice, John. They're shot hill. Two on top, two on top. Yeah. He's on your jump up. I couldn't have a two. Two on top, two on top. Both things suck. Both things suck. Both things suck. Yo, I'm trying to push this out. Yeah. Shopify and Rebellion were able to weather the storm despite the fact that Renegade had the camouflage. He wasn't able to make the play to get Shopify out of this hill. And this could end right here, oh. right now, unless Royal 2 comes in with that shot. Three down goes Shopify. I see his Royal 2. 46 seconds remaining. He's got the shock rifle as well, directly aimed at the spawns of Shopify Rebellion. And he takes out Mental, but Cycle gets a kill in the feed as well. Shopify Rebellion had the game in their hands, but World 2 just snatches it right up. Another shot, a killing spree. And now Cycle's gonna push it, and he may just get it too. But Cycle off the top rope. Mental gets his. Three down goes Shopify, and Cycle's not able to hold it. That may just be it. Frosty's in the hill. He has the shroud. I don't see anybody from Shopify. They're taking the lead. Absolutely phenomenal job by the side of FaZe to close that out when it mattered the most. Royal 2 with the shock rifle, the difference. And again, they come up icy. You've been in this, these situations so many times. You've learned from them time and time again. They're the world champs for a reason. That end game was breakdown worthy. When you see Shopify Rebellion in that hill, just closing out on the final split seconds that they need, the FaZe had two chances to break. Renegade with the camo, wasn't able to do it. Right. Royal 2 literally had to make a play. Otherwise, it was over, and you already know, he clutch. He does what he does. Royal 2 with that shot, absolutely shutting down Shopify Rebellion, stealing that game away, and now all that energy, that momentum that Shopify had off of that game to win, off of that 3-1 comeback to tie things up, where is it? So much weight is given to the KD, right? How many times you die? You should have a high KD, but Renegade, that was one of those situations where him dying opened everything up for the side of Royal 2. How much damage he did with that camo was the factor for me. Royal 2 coming up clutch as well. Cycle almost had it at the very end there. <laughs> he won that 1v1, but again, FaZe come out and they continue to send forces your way. There's not much you could do. There's gonna be times where going into a championship Sunday where you're gonna be put in those positions where you have to make a play to win the game. And I feel like that's what separates world champion. That's what separates the best of the best from, I guess, being matchmaking. <laughs> like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely matchmaking kids. But absolutely. I'm excited, uh, you know, for, for the, the Tuesday changes as well. I'm curious how that's going to affect land at the next event. But these teammates, these guys are not worried about that right now. Right now, they're worried about the most important match. Elimination semifinals. Aquarius CTF. Up next, I'm really curious. When it comes to these two teams, who do you favor in this Aquarius CTF match? The fact that I love me some game fives, I almost want to favor <laughs> Shopify Rebellion, we but both do, yeah. the stats are just a bit biased. I'm not a biased caster. Don't, don't no. be you -E yes me. I'm not a biased caster. <laughs> not at all. But the stats are biased. Phase are undefeated on capture the flag. Ooh. Not a single loss so far this tournament. So although I really love the young boys, I, I really do. The, sh the Shopify rebellions of the world really are the future in this league. It's Phase. It's Phase that are the favorites going in. This could be the last time we see Shopify rebellion in this tournament. To me, it's going to be about that comeback on the last match, right? You were in control for such a long period of time, and then FaZe just kind of come in and swoop it from underneath you. Is that going to affect the mental of Shopify? This is where coach of the event comes in best, man, right? To keep them collected, to keep them focused on what's next. Forget the past. It's time to lock in for game number four.
switching gears over towards Aquarius, and we've seen some changes made going into this season. We talk about that overshot spawning towards the bottom P side. On Capture the Flag, it's interesting. You normally want to control, what, the car side of the map, but that overshot draws you toward the P side at least every two minutes. Yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited to see how this starting strat works for both teams. You can even see some teams they decide to go towards this car side, send a 2-2 push, but it's Shopify Rebellion, like you said, immediately rushing towards that overshield. Can they get value out of this OS, though? Baze have actually elected to almost punch the OS. Nobody really going over towards that P-side and really allowing Shopify Rebellion to get it for free. And I'm not sure this strat is going to work. In fact, I think they're throwing away to cut it out of the playbook and toss it in the trash because Baze end up going three down. Luckily, Suppress goes down with that OS. Yeah, with three down, Suppress ends up pushing that fridge side and they end up spawning in the back base. So he's going to get pinched by two players. And because of that, that flag cap, that flag pull, I should say, will not come out. It's a double push once again from Shopify. They've got control now, and that flag will go into utility. Another three down for Baze, and Shopify Rebellion want to take advantage of it. Mental down to one shot, trying to avoid any kind of angles from the bridge side, makes it through. So far, trying to cross the 50, though, you see Renegade taking down Suppress. They're going to have to bring this slow and steady. They have to slay while they move the flag across the map. Yeah, you can see he's playing really slow, waiting for slays on the side of phase. Look at the top left of your screen. When you start to see the phase members fall, Mental will be a bit more confident to pull this flag, but that car two player is going to be a big problem. Suppress pulls it out, though, gets towards those stairs, but he gets taken out. Oh, Mental with oh. the patience. Not just a virtue, but a weapon that Mental uses to take down two members of FaZe that were actively trying to push for the return. Another three out of four down state fight. The only player alive in Shopify Rebellion. They're going to push this one in. Mental was the catalyst for me on that cap. 22-time Gears of War champion. He's no stranger to Championship Sundays. But for me, it's about this overshield, right? A lot of pressure given out by Shopify with that first OS. Roll two in posi position for the second. As another overshield comes up, it looks like Shopify Rebellion want to make it two in a row. You turned one overshield into a cap, but Renegade could have denied you of that second one. And now with Renegade pushing right through the Uto side, perfect kill. The audio tells him to turn around and turn on Soul Snipe. Beautifully played by Renegade and FaZe, and even Snake is able to trade out his life. FaZe still have control, they still are pushing up. Yeah, they end up getting three dead on the side of Shopify, but they don't have any pressure on the map, no space to control, so they had to play it a bit slow, and because they don't, and because Shopify is cemented into their setup, FaZe are gonna fall two down once again, and it leaves Renegade all by his lonesome, but he doesn't need any teammates. He's gonna get a single kill, and potentially a double on the soul fight. Make that a triple for Renegade. Renegade. Like a wrecking ball oh. goes in for the overkill. You can't stop that man. He's the demon. That's exactly what you need if you're face a player like Renegade to pop off and give you that energy that you need. It's so important for the momentum of the game. And Frosty follow up though. Gets a lot of damage out. He ends up falling. And it'll be Shopify Rebellion playing from their flag. And they'll go for a push once again. Starting a bit defensive, want to make sure they secure their slaves before they inch forward. This is just good fundamental Halo now coming in for Shopify. The moment phase dropping numbers is the moment Shopify wants to attack. Plus, this grab by suppress, but looks like phase was using it as a bit of bait. Easy kill now for phase. Cycle with the heat wave, bringing the heat, taking two down with them. Cycle, eight and seven so far in this game, but an impactful two kills there. Renegade still, though, playing this very annoying route in the back of his face. I love the confidence by Soul Snipe. Wow. Don't let Renegade go on a run. Shut him down early. Just snipe that man's soul from the low ground. Then Soul Snipe. Another overshield coming up. It looks like it's going to be a 2 cool. one grab here for Shopify Rebellion Suppress. Just sneaking that one through. 3v3 scenario. Next leg going to be important. Renegade answers with the double kill. Is he under the triple? Oh. Come on. Good. That's just unfair. That's just not fair. Tony, why don't you play like that? Absolutely phenomenal by the head of Renegade. <laughs> it's there. Insane by him, right? And this is what you need again. I said it again. I'm going to say it again. This is what you need if you're phase. Renegade to start to give you that energy, and then you can all come around that momentum together. Flag. 
going to be tossed by Frosty just to create a bit of pressure for the Shopify side, but this Renegade knows someone's behind him. Sneaky Beaky like is suppressed. Can he stay alive? He cannot. Renegade uh, falls. He buys some time with the movement, though. Still not enough. Both were going down here for phase, and Shopify Rebellion always will take advantage of that. Suppressed makes his way towards the peace side. He's gonna run into three members coming off a spawn. I thought that sticky was good. Suppressed probably thought the same. He's still gonna push up. Look at the pinch mental from the car side. Suppressed from the peace side. Limiting the options of phase lead to a three down. Shopify should be running flag. Suppressed played that really well. You saw him cut off the angle on one player in a 1v2 situation gets enough damage on that second player for his teammate and soul snipe to clean it up but soul snipe's gonna win a big pair or lose a big pair i'm sorry on the side of phase's base and suppressed wait a minute suppressed by renegade right now is he gonna get any damage on him renegade gets away there's no possible shot he still gets the trade with royal 2's help Bit of a sneaky beaver play coming in out of suppressed, but it's still Frosty and Phase that pulled that flag out and passed the car side. Frosty gonna try to curve slide his way into the relay. Soul Snipe with a perfectly placed grenade working on the return, but Phase are funneling members. They want to keep this flag alive, and looks like the relay will work. Double kill them out of Shopify. Flag still towards the mid map. The return is still possible, and with an overshield, it's definitely coming. Yeah, that overshield was huge in that play, right? The fact that Shopify was able to get that first initial kill, clean up, and get that overshield allowed them to continue to maintain this one cap lead. It's cycle once again with the heat wave in hands. Still with Shopify rebelling with the advantage. And as they take control, as they get the slay cycle, wasting no time whatsoever maneuvering this flag through the util side. And now kind of using it as a bit of bait. Hiding in this corner, waiting for FaZe to push forward. An easy shot in melee, but with the nade coming out, FaZe might just be anticipating this move. I like the support by Mental here, but it might be a giveaway. Cycle playing very patient here. He's got to touch the flag or make a move at some point. He's going to get the kill on the save fight, but no one's going to be able to touch the flag. That's a mishap by Shopify. Two down for FaZe, three down for FaZe, though. Royal to the last player alive. He's got the top center position. Interesting play. FaZe was almost returning that flag, but just using time, just using the reset. He said, if you're going to try to bait us out, we're just not going to fall for it. Right. We'll allow the flag to return an opportunity for Shopify Rebellion to go up 2-0 in this game. Down to nothing. Gonna get his snake fight back to back kills. Royal 2 showing us a bit of the boost. Lead down goes Shopify. Mental going to back down. This flag is already full. Mental though breaks right through. Ooh. A double kill out of Mental stops. Phase Clan right in their tracks. A massive double by Mental coming off of his spawn on the back of flag. Like you said, stops a very important flag tie game flag cap from going in. But again, what I'm seeing here, Tony, is the fact that constantly it's World 2 on top center control. Is he going to be able to utilize that advantage, though, to potentially stop some players from pushing that OS that's coming up right now? Shopify Rebellion once again take control, and with the three down four phase, there's only one player that can deny the overshield from Shopify and Snake Fight, who gets the kill on the Soul Snipe, but oh. suppressed once again. That's what it's third this game. That's at this point, I think he might spawn with overshield. Yeah, honestly, he gets OS, and it's at the last second each and every time. But, honestly, really good by FaZe to make sure to deplete that overshield instantaneously to make sure it's not a big factor. And now you see it's Shopify Rebellion with top center control. Still a 1-0 lead in favor of Shopify with 3 minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. So plenty of time for anything to happen in this game, including Shopify putting another one on the board where FaZe maybe to come back. Suppressed going right at World 2. Target prioritization as he switches over towards Snake Fight and continues to put down damage. This is what Suppressed does. He puts down that damage and you have one of two things. You either back down and his teammates clean you up or you challenge and you lose it. 21 kills to his name right now. Three down go phase as Suppressed gets this flag over towards the mid map, over towards the courtyard, but didn't account for World 2 and Frosty. I love Suppressed movement right there to use that little bit of a curb slide to get that flag through the bottom center of the map, but there's still a lot of work to do for the side of Shopify Rebellion. Phaser doing an incredible job of making sure to trade out these kills time and time again. Flag passively returning once again, Tony. Great damage. Almost able to take advantage of that opportunity, but Phase 
they were relentless. They did not give up on it. Eventually, the return comes in. Soul Snipe going right after Frosty. You have two more phase members looking to take his place. Another overshield coming up, but this time it's phase that have come. What's crazy to me is the fact that Shopify Rebellion only uh, Shopify Rebellion lead in slays 75 to 64. You're talking about a team in phase with three, I mean four, absolutely incredibly individually skilled players. And you'd expect a bit of a difference there, but phase not having that slay power that we're known we know them to have. And like you alluded to, I mean, you're out slaying the opposition by double digits, 78 66 at the moment here. A Shopify Rebellion. Suppressed with the stick on to Renegade. Where did that come from? Hmm. World 2 now gonna be the final player alive here for FaZe. Luckily for FaZe, Shopify aren't in their base, but they are coming off of spawn, and Frosty wins those pins. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the bottom center of your screen. Time is going to be a factor here. A minute and 25 seconds remain. FaZe backs up against the wall, have to make something happen, but they constantly are going three down. Finally, Frost is gonna get a couple of kills here, make that only one. It's two down for the side of Shopify. Days really are on the clock at the moment here. Just about at the minute mark. He's gonna be the final, what, three, maybe? Four One pushes now coming remain. in for phase. Shopify Rebellion could be on hard defense mode at the moment. But as of right now, Cycle's on the black screen. Soul Snipe catches the stick. World 2 taking two down before going down himself. That's just efficiency. Suppress wins his battle. Mental takes down Snake Bite. The defense from Shopify is looking strong right now as Frosty is forced to slow it down. And time is not on their side. I said a minute. It felt like just a few seconds ago. Yeah, they have one last push maybe here. Frosty going down. They're going to have to wait for him to come off the spawn. That's going to be 10 seconds to wait for the side of phase. And you know, for me, it's the general right now. What he's saying in the comms that's going to allow this team to make a good play. He goes for the heat wave, suppress takes him out, but he ends up falling. I'll tell you what the general's saying right now. This could be going to a game five, hold on. Renegade with the last ditch effort to at least get that flag out of the base, but a quick return is gonna give Shopify Rebellion the win. Are we going to a game five? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a game five. Let's hear it in the arena. Shopify Rebellion surprising everybody right now against the world champs in phase. The crowd going wild right now. Shopify have been killing it. And again, we talked about it from the beginning. Lottie asked, she said, who was that Dark Horse team? Who was that team that's flying under the radar? I, told, I, said, I, I, I said, it has to be Shopify. Everybody is counting them out. Nobody even had them here in Championship Sunday. You think they had them, have them in the World Champions? In a Game 5, an elimination here in Top 4? This could happen if Shopify take one more. Tony. I don't like to give you a big head because I like to have the biggest head on the stage. You, but, oh, you do. Oh, I do. Okay. But during the Open Series 1, when we were talking in Discord, I remember you saying, Shopify is my dark horse. And I'm not going to lie to you. In my head, I was like, okay, Tony, stop it. This is this not a, that's not a thing. But again, well, I wouldn't say again. Again, I don't want to make your head big, but you were right. <laughs> they are looking phenomenal here. And even with Renegade playing the way he is, this team is scary. Now, if I'm Soul Snipe, you know what I'm feeling right now? Very confident. I'm feeling like, you know what? I made the right choice. It was a high risk, high reward play. And now he's playing for his highest placement, potentially his highest placement ever. Yeah, I mean, it was literally just last, what, a couple of weeks ago. So yeah. Native Red, along with that good Soul Snipe and Druck and all of them, made that incredible run to make it to a third place in a world championship environment on top of that the success that they've been able to have and being able to team with your best friends but best man coach best man of shopify rebellion challenged soul type he said i want to bring you out of your shell i love it i want to pull you away from the group we love that group we right. really do but we want to go we want to challenge you and i will say soul type of shopify rebellion have been so good this tournament dare i say great this tournament dare i say elite in this tournament it had to be just that to hold the phase down who were undefeated and captured the flag. No flags 
for FaZe, who are undefeated. Crazy. To bring us into a game five. So let's talk about this, right? You're coming in as Shopify Rebellion. You're now, what, 7-0 and o in Slayer, 6-0 in Slayers? 7-0 Seven. Seven and o in Slayers. And you're coming into this game five. You've got to feel good. You won that first one 50 to 38. Very different map on the side of streets. Of course, we've got that camo on the bottom center in, in place of rockets, which I absolutely love that change. I got to give, again, another shout out to the Pro Insights team. I think these changes have been phenomenal. But if you're Shopify, you can see it's Soul Snipe telling you to shh. <laughs> it's our time, right? 7 0. Let's make it 8 0. And, and to me, it's uh, that man on the left of that graphic. And uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Donnie, the former baseball player, man. He is a damage dealer, a game changer, a play maker. I talk about it time and time again. Okay, when he's putting damage on the map, you have one of two choices. You either duck for cover and his teammates are going to clean you up, or you're going for the challenge. And nine times out of ten, you're going to lose that battle. He wins battles against some of the best in the business. If there's one player, if there's one team that doesn't fear FaZe, it's Suppressed and Shopify Rebellion. You know what I love about Suppressed is uh, his selfless gameplay, right? In that last game, 27 and 17, but that's not him sitting back. I mean, he does sit back and put shots in, but he's very selfless in the fact that he will die for a play if he needs to. I'm looking at the stats right now. We've been talking about this undefeated record by Shopify Rebellion, but it feels even more so when you see it on a graphic like right. this. And then also, the average margin of victories. We say that FaZe is one of the best Slayer teams in the world, beating out teams by 4.9, which is decent. Yeah, yeah. But at this point, Shopify Rebellion are beating out teams by double digits every time. They are not just winning, they're blowing out teams. You don't come close to them. I, I don't want to be disrespectful. No, no, no. But are Shopify Rebellion the favorites to go at least into a Game 5 Slayer against the world champions? I'm a little bit scared, Tony, because we had Quadrant, obviously, last season, the former Quadrant, strongest Strongholds team in the HCS. Are we looking at the strongest Slayer team now in the HCS in Shopify? That's a big deficit right there, 13 kills. Well, we talked about the underdogs enough. Why don't we flip it to the other side, and that's a phase again world champions and when right. when it comes down to a slayer you got the main slayer you got the demon you got the renegade then on top of that you have world two and his ability to not only put damage down the map and get his kills but to stay alive one of those players that just gets into his positions that you simply can't get him off and you always talk about obviously the general you always talk about how this team is is so good and so built for wins deep in tournaments they're the number one seeded team, so although we want to give Shopify Rebellion their flowers, we also kind of want to bring it back and say, hey, Absolutely. you're still dealing with FaZe, you know what I mean? Absolutely, <laughs> and uh, not only just a FaZe, but a FaZe who went to the back and had a talk. And you know I'm big on mental, Tony, and that's just huge, right? You have the general talking to you, preparing you for this game five, and you can see. Look at the KDs on the side of FaZe. I mean, they're pretty similar, I would say, to Shopify, but you wouldn't expect that out of, I would say, the, the most individually skilled team uh, in the HCS. What really surprises me on the opposite side of things of Shopify Rebellion is the fact that Cycle has the most damage right oh, now. Wow. Cycle yeah. normally is, is one of the best players at picking and choosing his angles, picking and choosing his opportunities, and lots of times it'll be a flanking route. So when I think of Shop, when I think of Cycle, I don't think of a player that's putting down that max damage like that, but when he's playing like this, no wonder you were able to just literally beat an undefeated phase and a capture the flag and able to bring us into this game five cycle is having one heck of a series. Yeah, honestly, I kind of agree with you, Tony. I kind of saw him as that flanking player, that, you know, player who has that really fast paced individual skill, but he's now formed to this new roster. And, it, it, you know, with Soul Snipe on the roster now, he's got to change his gameplay, his game plan. And, and maybe it was Best Man that kind of formulated this. And, I'm going to tell you, Cycle looks extremely comfortable right now. Like I talked about, one of the youngest, the second youngest player in the HCS. When I was 17, I was scared of everything, okay? Even the monsters under my bed. So, absolutely what insane by Cycle. What are, you, what are you scared of every, that, everything? No wonder why I beat you in every gunfight. What are you scared, what are you scared uh, of? Yeah, I just, it, the nerves, man. The nerves get to me. But absolutely, and just incredible job by Cycle. Can he continue this on? Again, we talk about Championship Sunday. We talk about 
how important this day is with both of these teams being in the elimination bracket. The loser of this, Tony, will go home, right? Yeah. Really early. Well, not, not very early, but they'll go home. Mm -hmm. And now you build up the pressure even more. Now we're talking about the very last game to make something happen. Both of these teams guarantee top four in this tournament right now. But I think for Shopify Rebellion side, pretty darn good. For FaZe, considered a bit of a disappointment, I would imagine. But I feel like when you come down to a game five, when you come this close, both of them have aspirations to making it to the elimination bracket finals. Both of them have the aspirations to fight their way, maybe into the grand finals. A win here puts you one series away from the grand finals, one series away for fighting for a championship. That's crazy. It's very crazy. I'm very impressed by Shopify Rebellion, but we talked about FaZe being the world champs, right? When you're the number one and you've, got, you've gotten what you came to play Halo for, you've gotten a title for some of these players on FaZe, three rings, Tony. It's absolutely insane. Do you still have that passion and can you ignite that passion for this very last match to get you and push you forward to that elimination final? As all players hit their seats and we get game number one ready for you, I want from eight players in the lobby, mm -hmm. give me one player that you're looking out for, one player, one expectation. It's Renegade for me, Tony. 25 and 24 in the last match. What I'm seeing out of him is not bad Halo, but it's not Renegade Halo. So that's the player I'm looking for. Arlington, are you ready? Game number five is on the way. FaZe versus Shopify Rebellion. One team will make it to the elimination bracket finals. One team is going home. Tony, they sound ready, but I am as well. We're hopping in with suppressed game number five. A 3 1 start, making four for face, leads to an early camouflage grab here. Multiple going down for Shopify, and face taking that early lead. I love the fact that we're able to hear both sides of the crowd chanting for both face and Shopify. Shopify have gained some fans here today on Championship Sunday, but face have the immediate lead against an undefeated Slayer team in Shopify. Can Whoa. they make it? Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Snakebite ends up getting the betrayal there. It'll be now a two kill lead for the side of FaZe. And the player you want to watch is Cycle. Soul Snipe was able to get a double kill with that flanking Cycle. Taking down three members of FaZe. That betrayal might just bite FaZe in the butt there. Luckily, Snakebite, huge kill onto Soul Snipe. Stopping Shopify Rebellion from infiltrating the Neon side. They're going to slow things down. You know you don't want to make any mistakes, neither one of these teams. Shopify has the resources. The repulse, the shot, the stalker rifle as well. And Cycle makes something happen with this. The highest damage dealer in this series thus far. A lot of damage can be output with this stalker, but only 13% remaining in the ammo. And he's gonna have World 2 and Renegade to deal with right now is Cycle, but the reinforcements are here. All four members gathered up here for Shopify, but are you just trapping yourself? Are you just making yourself a bit of an easy target? Apparently not. You clear out Snakebite, but you did lose Camo. Camo in the hands of Frosty. I love how far back he's playing, right? You've got to make sure to get these 100% kills. The repulse by Renegade's going to save Frosty. He has another 15 seconds left on this Camo, so value is my question. How much value will he get? It's one down for Shopify. 12 to 8 lead here by Faze Clan. Frosty still trying to find the right angle with this Camo. Doesn't even need to get the kill. Snake fight's already on that. Soul Snipe goes down, and Frosty may have lost Camo, but gains a Bulldog. Now you're starting to push up onto Shopify Rebellion. And the moment you do, you notice the spawns are coming up. 
pull right back. I love that. And again, it's the phase playing safe, trying not to make any mistakes whatsoever. So be, it'll be the pace of game slowed here. I talked about the general. What a game he's having thus far. Eight and two for him. On the opposite side of things, I, I said suppress was kind of my, the man of the hour for me, at least on Shopify. One and four. One assist to go along with it. Not exactly the stats that you want to see out of that young man, but luckily the game is still early. What's, what's the old saying? The game doesn't start until the 30 kill mark. Well, we're not there yet. Not there yet. Shout out to Pocket, of course. We all remember you. One of the greats. But another great on our screen. It's Snakebite. 25 seconds for Camo. Look who's in position for it, though. FaZe, they have that seaside control. And that's the favorable side of the map if you want to get control of the camo. The push does commence here. Renegade's going to be in a bit of a situation, but I love the idea of him to back up. Suppress gets the initial kill on Whoa. the player top C, and he gets a triple kill in the fade. Suppress goes from one and four to four and four immediately. And as camouflage is coming out, does it when it matters most. Snake fight, understands the situation. He has to clear out the subway side. That ain't gonna happen. Soul Snipe getting away with the camo. Now it's Shopify Rebellion, just down by one. What a beautiful job by Suppress. We talked about the seaside being ever so important for that camo. He gets a triple kill to break the setup of phase. And Soul Snipe now with the camo. About 10 seconds left. My question is. One player on phase that I'm just looking at right now is Royal 2, right? One and four with three assists. I'm looking for him to step up a bit. He was suppressed not too long ago. That was one and four, one triple kill is all that was needed to turn things around. Maybe Royal 2 can do the same. Not when Soul Snipe is sneaking around with that camo suppressed. And Soul Snipe now going to push up. Frosty goes down and Royal 2, you're going to catch this assault rifle. Almost caught the hands on the melee. Two more members of FaZe to deal with. Shopify Rebellion, your, your job is not done. They wait to the right time. They collapse when it matters most. Shopify Rebellion have just taken the lead. I want to hear how Shopify sound and are listening right now. I want to hear what their passion sounds like. How about Josh? We must have grabbed. Can you grab it? Come right. Yeah, uh, Jobber, rotate, Jobber, rotate, Jobber rotate, in commander. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Yeah, B-Steps. B-Steps, B-Steps. He steps absolute under B steps. He's sitting on the bureau. Okay. On top of the lead. You guys have to wait. You guys have to wait. You need tires. Just one tower. I think I hear him. You guys have small people. Two people. One people is one job right. Yeah, three steps. Keep behind the arcade. So, they can be playing damage for arcade guys. Recover. I have shotty. shotty. Can we get smoke for this? Uh, I have smoke. I have smoke. Can we be serious for us? Yeah, we're just going to wait for yeah, the Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. I'll drop some tires with you. And if they try to ape, I'll just repulse them out. He has spikes. He has spikes. You yeah. should have them. All right. I'll re pulse them out to try to AP it. Have shields. They might try to make a move before us. Be ready for it. Yeah. Zara, okay, we're stalker. Okay, stalker. Okay, we're stalker. They might play heavy B side. I have camo. Rusty still. Are you guys gonna go tires? Yeah, I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna smoke it, Billy. He's B side. Smoke it, please. 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 Watch out, watch out, B roll up. We have camo. We have camo. We have camo. Push. Yeah, two guys out. Watch out. Have shields. Two guys B steps. This guy. Watch out. Watch out. The same guy, watch out. Watch out, be serious to stop. Ness, 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 be serious. I'll probably kill be serious. Watch out, watch out. Dead! Who's gonna let me see? Inside B, inside B, inside B, inside B, inside B, inside B, watch out, watch out, B. In B and in C. No, I be, I be. Stalker down, drop it. Don't, don't, don't. I be inside. I be inside. Nice. Stalker was on one of them. I'm stalker, I'm stalker. Plants, 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 plants. Yeah, I'm gonna Maybe in arcade, maybe in arcade as well. Play purple, play purple, don't Go for it, go for it, go for it. Get about five seconds of camo. One top A, I'm one shot, one shot, one top A. Back tower, back tower. Back tower, 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 Mando? I think we don't have to go to the They rotate. There's already a guy Mando. Bottom guy tower. Tower. Yeah, I'm gonna suck here. Alright, this guy tires. Tires are bottom A. Yo, top A. Challenge. Tires. Top A. 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 Top A.
Yeah, here got through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Drive away with soccer. Drive away with soccer. Two up here. 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 Two is the call out. Gotta love to see that. We down the Shopify Rebellion though, so the intensity was paying off for a bit now. Down by three kills to the world champion state fight. Combining that camo with a shotgun renegade. Taking down suppressed. Getting dangerously close to that 40 kill mark. Flirting with that 40 kill mark. And as of right now, FaZe have the Riz Renegade with the nade. Taking down Mental. The B side is cleared out right now, and things not looking good for Shopify, still down by four. I would have loved a little bit more value out of that camo, but honestly, didn't really have a position to push up safely, so ends up staying back, not giving up a kill, also has the Bulldog and the Repulse to work with. Now he's gonna push up aggressively, Tony. Shotgun, pushes up, mental, down to one shot, but does a great job of staying alive. It can only stay alive for so long when the rest of FaZe are pinching you. And now a staggered spawner, a solo spawner in soul style. This is dangerous territory. Snake fight with easy kill, taking no damage back whatsoever. Goes in for the challenge, but cycle and suppress break out of their spawn. 44 to 37. You see how FaZe break up that push layer by layer. They take that first initial player. They got the off spawn out and the soul snipe and then push through for the rest. It's Royal 2. Ends up getting a trade, 46 to 40. Just one more squad wipe away from taking this game and moving forward to that elimination bracket finals on FaZe Clan. And it looks like they're gonna slow the game down to a snail's pace, but Suppress doesn't want to go down, at least not easily. The 41st kill for Shopify. This is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Stay in your seats. Shopify are not throwing up the white flag just yet. They're not thrown in the towel. 46 to 43, three kill game. From a one and four start from Suppressed to 15 kills. He's leading, willing his team forward oh. for State Fight with the flank. Nobody accounting for State Fight. Over towards the A side, it's a huge kill on to Mental. Now Frosty and World 2, pinching from Neon. One more kill, that's it. Shopify's going home, Shopify's going home. Clutch it up when it matters the most. The massive flank by Snakebite. So many resources thrown back for him. The general once again comes in with the ice. So well fought for Shopify Rebellion to bring us into a game five to keep it as close as they did, to not allow that game to get out of hand when it could have time and time again. FaZe had control, but Shopify matched them at every given turn. They threw everything out. They really did. They really emptied the tank, but you're dealing with the world champions, and it's FaZe's time. A crazy turn of events. We had a team. 7-0 and in Slayers. Coming into this, even beating them in that game too. But I said it before and I'll say it again. The more times you're put in a situation, the more comfortable you feel in those situations and the more confident you are as well. The talk in the back that FaZe had really was the catalyst for me. Collecting as a team saying, this is our game. They knew they could win, they just had to make some small adjustments and make sure they, like you said, just had that talk, get their mental in the right space, and I'm sure they came out invigorated. They came out, you know, with that passion and really came out ready to close things out. Wow. I gotta point out something on the other side for Shopify. Of course, flowers to them. Very incredibly high placing. It was suppressed with 5,500 damage, the yeah. damage dealer of the roster. <laughs> but it wasn't enough. Faze come through once again, 50 to 44, a massive game five for them, and we'll see them in the elimination finals.